Well, John Johnson and Bill Barron's here. Feature contest time, Orion Bishop, the priest of punishment. Two of the monsters here in NWA Anarchy are gonna lock it up here, and neither man is backing down from the other one. And this is gonna be a, plain and simple, this is gonna be a fight. I don't see anything but that. Michael Judas, one of the most impressive wrestlers I've ever witnessed, always been impressed with this man. After a tour of Puerto Rico, when he returned to this arena, he came back as the consummate professional. But Orion Bishop has been nothing but impressive since he premiered here. And you're looking at two literally larger than life professional wrestlers, two guys that put fear in any opponent going one-on-one -on -one for the first time. Well, of course, Orion Bishop, I mean, this is a big opportunity for him. Not only has Michael Judas held gold over in Puerto Rico, Michael Judas is a former Anarchy Heavyweight Champion. What a feather in the cap it could be for Orion Bishop if he was able to find a way to defeat Michael Judas here tonight. But right now, Michael Judas with that side headlock, keep him in the center of the ring. And that's smart, wear the man down, keep him on his back. It doesn't matter the size, the size difference doesn't matter on the map, but when you have two huge men like this and the way he's leveraging back on that neck, he's gonna do serious damage to this big man, but that's a big neck too. It's gonna be hard to damage that. I'll tell you, Ryan Bishop has not been shy about picking fights with the biggest dog in the pound. He's picked fights with Shadow Jackson, and I don't think Shadow Jackson has yet gotten everything back he wants for Ryan Bishop. And right now, Ryan Bishop has picked the fight with the biggest man in the building, the biggest man in anarchy, and this is going to be one heck of a match. Well, you know, Michael Judas puts the fear, and a lot of men here in NWA anarchy, with the exception of maybe Orion Bishop. Orion Bishop doesn't seem to fear Michael Judas. And you know, and you talked about that big, thick neck of Orion Bishop earlier. Orion Bishop, a former arena football league, you know, player, definitely you know, was able to develop that upper body, that neck strength and everything, but also has an amateur background in wrestling. So we know this man can not only fight, he can also wrestle in that ring. Well, you can also see that he's taken advantage of that football background with some of the things he does to hurt his opponent. But he goes right back to the side headlock is Michael Judas cranking it in there. And I tell you something, I mean, that torques the neck there a little bit. And I mean, you can, I mean, any kind of neck damage that you can do to somebody can do this, the rest of the body is going to go. Well, I don't know if the fans have ever noticed some of the older professional wrestlers have literally deformed ears, cauliflower ears caused by the breakdown of the cartilage and the blood vessels in the ear. And quite honestly, the side headlock is the single move that causes that the most. It's tremendously painful to be in a side headlock. And I know you just, said you just missed that right there. Orion Bishop was able to hit a back suplex, but Michael Judas did not break that headlock on Orion Bishop. Well, that demonstrates an element of desperation that comes when you're in that position. The pain gets excruciating, and you'll do anything, and that is an example of doing anything to get out of the move, crotching him on the top rope, and I don't care how much of a monster Michael Judas may be, that'll hurt any man. And right there, just football tackled him right off of that, and Michael Judas hit the apron and then out to the floor really hard. Orion Bishop trying to get a sense about him. I don't know how smart this is, though. Don't chase him outside the ring. Use this to take time to get your senses back together. Well, it may be a lack of experience or it may be a good idea. It may be that Orion Bishop knows that if he doesn't keep the pressure on Michael Judas and gives him the opportunity to get that second win, well, there's a smart move there, breaking the count so he can do more damage on the outside. So it believes this is a, this is a plan. This may not be a mistake. And right there, dropping that arm on that very strong metal railing. Those things are unforgiving and don't give a bit. And right there, sliding back in to break the count out again. And nothing Brent Wiley can do because he has until the 10 count to get both men back in the ring. Or Ryan Bishop can break this up all day long. Now it's a judgment call to some extent on the part of the referee. He could decide to count out Michael Judas, but with the other wrestler breaking the count, it's then a judgment call on his part rather to restart the count. The priest of punishment, Michael Judas, just got a good glimpse of it there. I mean, an obvious pain clinching that arm that Orion Bishop dropped over that metal guardrail and now has the man in the corner. How many people can lay claim to this? Very few. Only a handful of people can say they've had Michael Judas in this kind of predicament.
but you've got to stay on him and you've got to keep wearing him down because this man is tremendously strong and tremendously talented. Notice that as soon as he got into the ring, the first thing he did was make sure he got to his feet, make sure that he got to that vertical base so that he couldn't get pinned. He's willing to take the damage standing up, but he's not going to lay down for it where he could get pinned. I want to remind all the fans, we are just a few weeks away from Seasons Beating, the first big event of the new decade, 2010. Seasons Beating is just around the corner. Definitely both these men are going to be involved. Well, they sure will, but there was a little bit of the example. Michael Jr. stayed on his feet and was able to mount a pretty strong comeback and get a little bit of breath going, but this Orion Bishop is literally a bull. Took him over with that belly-to-belly -belly suplex, went over.